Hey YouTube, Jim here. This is my second video showing you my experience raising angelfish. If you didn't see the first video, go back and check it out. It uh, shows the spawn and uh, the first few days of raising these young. This one is uh, more geared toward showing you the growth rate of these things and how they develop. So this is day 15. Day zero was the spawning day. So by day 15 they've grown quite a bit as you can see. Uh, we've got some silvers, some, uh, and, a, and a big mix of black lace and, and double dark. Still in a 10-gallon tank here, uh, doing lots of water changes pretty regularly. Uh, it's already overcrowded, uh, to be honest, uh, but I didn't have another tank set up. Uh, my intention was to move these guys back into the tank that uh, I, the parents were in, the 30-gallon breeder. Uh, but darned if they didn't spawn again, and this time, uh, <laughs> as luck would have it, they uh, were successful in uh, raising their young. So uh, I didn't have anywhere to move these guys to, and as you can see, day 18, uh, still just a ton of angelfish, uh, almost no casualties. I was quite surprised. Look at all those guys. Uh, I was really uh, successful breeding, uh, breeding these guys, and I uh, was just making tons and tons of brine shrimp. I had three hatcheries going at the same time just to keep them fed. Uh, uh, again, uh, moving forward just to day 20, look at that. See how quickly they're growing. You can see uh, their uh, dorsal and anal, fin anal fins are starting to uh, extend. They're starting to look like miniature little angelfish. So. Uh, again, um, way overcrowded at this point. You don't need to tell me that. <laughs> uh, but uh, I, I had nowhere to go with these things. So I'm doing massive water changes every single day just to keep, uh, uh, just to keep them healthy. So a lot of food, a lot of water changes, and uh, just a, just a ton, of, ton of baby angels in here. Moving forward, look at this. Uh, now we're at day 26 still growing, still now way overcrowded, so uh, I was uh, very eager to get these things moved into a bigger tank. As you can see, look at this, uh, we're, all, you know, we're only uh, uh, less than four weeks in and they are little baby angelfish. Uh, we've got uh, a lot of variety in there as well. Can't really tell if they've got veils yet, but you can certainly tell uh, some are silver and uh, we've got uh, dark and uh, double darks in there. So. Um, obviously too many fish. So here we go. These are the same fish. Uh, they look smaller, but I've actually gotten them over to the 30 gallon tank now. So uh, uh, just about a month after they were uh, spawned, here they are in a 30 gallon tank. A little bit more uh, swimming room for them. As you can see, they're snapping up some baby brine shrimp there uh, still. So uh, at this point, you can start to tell some of these guys are darker than the others, and those are the double darks, uh, very black angelfish. So uh, you can also tell some of the fins are starting to get a little longer than others. And uh, so uh, again, if uh, if math works out correctly, half of them should be veil tail, half should be standard, then uh, a quarter should be silver angels, half of them should be black lace, and then the last quarter of them should be double dark, uh, all black angels. So uh, uh, here they are in the 30 gallon tank. Uh, again, doesn't take long for them to outgrow that tank as well. Here we are uh, two weeks later and uh, suddenly it's just like the 10 gallon tank. We're overcrowded again. So um, I, uh, uh, at, at about this time I went and secured uh, another 40 gallon tank but uh, it's cycling at this point, so uh, uh, still feeding these guys a combination of uh, brine shrimp, flakes, um, baby brine shrimp, so they're uh, getting a pretty big mix, and uh, they've taken a liking to the, uh, the hand that feeds them, as you can tell. So um, <coughs> here we are on day 54, and this tank you're looking at here is the 40-gallon tank that I set up. It uh, has a LED light in it, so the water uh, looks a little bluer, but... Uh, so I split the batch of uh, angels. I left a uh, little less than half of them in the 30-gallon tank and moved a little more than half of them over to this 40-gallon tank. So uh, there are now two tanks um, uh, that I split the spawn. Uh, didn't try to segregate them in any way. I just uh, scooped out about half of them and moved them over to the 40-gallon tank. 
again as you can see uh, almost no casualties uh, here's the other tank over on the other side of the room again uh, just uh, just a lot of them hardly any casualties it was uh, quite quite remarkable now by day 74 look at the size of these things and you can tell uh, there are a lot of uh, um, uh, black lace and uh, sure enough about a quarter of them are double darks and about a quarter are um, <coughs> silver. So uh, by this point uh, I'd started uh, selling some of these things. I'd been taking them into local fish stores, uh, posted online, some people came by and picked a few up um, and uh, they're eating me out of house and home. They're eating uh, just about everything now so I'm giving them adult brine shrimp, I'm giving them uh, 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 blood worms, flakes, everything I can throw in there. They're, uh, they're eating it rapidly and I'm doing a lot of water changes. As you can see they're pretty happy to see me because uh, I'm the food guy. So um, it's actually pretty rewarding to see all these guys uh, coming to greet you at the glass but uh, um, overall at this point uh, I was pretty desperate to find homes for them. So don't expect to get rich breeding angelfish. It's a lot of fun, but uh, they're fairly common. As I said, I trade them into the local fish store for about two bucks a piece, maybe a little more, maybe four bucks for the double dark black veils. Those are uh, pretty rare and uh, are very nice fish, but uh, uh, I see they sell them for uh, anywhere from 10 to 15 bucks a piece, which is pretty fair, uh, all things considered local fish store has a lot of overhead and uh, they're not making a ton of money. I don't see those guys driving Mercedes to to their job so uh, support your local fish store. Anyway um, that's about it for this video as you can see they continued to grow and I continued to sell through them when all was said and done I counted them and I had sold over 250 angelfish just out of one spawn so uh, quite a lot of success and I was surprised at how well they survived. There were very, very few defects um, and uh, they were all very healthy. So great experience, but uh, um, glad to be done with them <laughs> at this point. So uh, uh, hope you hope you got something from this video. Um, I hadn't seen too many people track the growth rate of these things, so hopefully that was helpful to you. Um, but uh, uh, good luck, uh, good luck raising angelfish. Really, really relatively simple. Give them more space than I did. Good food, clean water. Uh, it's uh, it's not too difficult. Uh, closing off here. Oh, I uh, the last video here I'm showing you is uh, I put some of them back in my community tank with their parents. Um, and uh, so there's Dad right there with the veil. Uh, but you can see um, there's a, a standard fin uh, silver right there, and uh, above him is a black veil. Um, brother or sister so quite a lot of diversity out of just uh, two two parents as you can see that one's another black lace there he'll get darker as he as he grows there's a really nice uh, black double black veil right there so uh, um, I, I kept a six or seven of these things and uh, the rest of them have found new homes so uh, anyway if you like the video uh, hit like and uh, hope you hope you have a lot of luck breeding angelfish yourself.